Hello and welcome to How to Play Risk, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the board game Risk. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with 3 to 5 players. Each player will select an army to play with. An army consists of infantry equal to one troop, cavalry equal to five troops, and artillery equal to ten troops. Players will start with a certain number of infantry depending on the number of players in the game. For this five player example, each player will set aside 25 infantry. Each player rolls a die. The highest roller is first to place one infantry onto a territory on the board. Indigo has the highest roll and places an infantry on Greenland. Play moves left to Orange, who places an infantry on New Guinea. Play continues to move left with players adding one infantry to an unoccupied territory. Skipping ahead, once all the territories are occupied by one infantry, players will begin to add infantry to their occupied territories. Green adds an infantry to Argentina. Play continues left until all players have finished placing their infantries. They do not need to be evenly distributed among their territories. To finish the setup, the Risk Territory cards are shuffled and placed to the side. The object of the game is to eliminate all other players, troops, and occupy all territories on the board. On your turn, you will choose a territory to attack, and dice are used to determine the outcome of the battle. The player that placed the first infantry will start the gameplay. A player's turn begins with receiving new troops and placing them on the board. A player will count the number of territories occupied and divide it by three. The result is the number of troops received, ignoring any remainders. Indigo has nine territories. Divided by three equals three new troops to place on any territory already occupied. Once the new troops are added, the player can choose to attack a bordering territory or territory connected by a sea line. Indigo decides to attack eastern United States from eastern Canada. The attacking player will move one, two, or three troops into the territory being attacked. The defender can have one or two troops defend. Both attacker and defender will roll a number of dice equal to the number of troops in the battle. Indigo will roll three dice for the three troops. Orange will roll two dice for the two troops. The battling players will roll the dice at the same time. The highest rolled dice are compared. The next highest rolled dice are compared too. The lowest rolled die for the attacker is ignored. Both of Indigo's dice are higher than Orange's dice. The Orange troops are defeated and returned to their owner. After a successful attack, the attacker can move additional troops into the new territory if wanted. At least one troop must be left in the original territory. On a turn, the player can choose to attack as many territories as wanted, or choose not to attack at all. Indigo decides to attack again, this time attacking Western United States from Eastern United States. Indigo attacks with three troops, and Blue only has one troop to defend with. The dice are rolled, and Indigo's highest die outranks Blue's die. Blue is defeated, and Indigo takes over the territory. Indigo chooses not to make any more attacks. At the end of a turn, a player can choose to maneuver troops if wanted. Indigo decides to maneuver one troop from Greenland to Eastern Canada. When maneuvering, a player can only move troops from one territory to one bordering territory. Lastly, if on a player's turn at least one territory was captured, the player receives one Risk Territory card. Play moves left to Orange. The turn starts by receiving troops. Orange has eight territories, divided by three is under three, but a player always gets a minimum of three troops no matter how few territories a player has. Also, if a player occupies all territories of a continent, additional troops are received. Orange occupies all territories in Australia. The amount of troops received is listed on the board, two for Australia. Orange places the new troops into their occupied territories. Orange decides to make an attack, and play continues as previously explained. Some additional battle examples will be covered at the end of this video. When a player no longer occupies any territories, they are out of the game. Here, Blue loses their last territory and is knocked out of the game. The first player to capture all the territories wins the game. If an attacking die and a defending die are the same number, the defender wins. At any time a player can exchange 5 infantry troops for a cavalry troop 
or 10 troops for an artillery troop. Players can receive additional troops at the beginning of a turn by trading in a set of territory cards. A set of territory cards are three cards with the same troop design, three cards with one of each troop design, or three cards with two of the same troop design and one wild card. The amount of troops received depends on when it is traded in. The first player to trade in a set receives four additional troops. The next player to trade in a set receives six troops. This continues with the troops received increasing for each traded in set. Starting with the seventh set, each traded in set receives five more troops than the previous set traded in. If a player trades in a set of cards that includes a territory they occupy, the player gets to add two additional troops to the matching territory. Here, Indigo would receive two additional troops to put in Western United States. A player that has five or six risk cards at the beginning of their turn must trade in at least one set. If you are the player to eliminate another player from the game, you get any risk cards that player had. If the risk cards received give you more than six risk cards, you must immediately trade in a set and the additional troops received are placed onto the board. For this example, Green will be attacking Central America from Venezuela. The attackers can choose one, two, or three troops to attack with. The defenders can choose one or two troops to defend with. During a battle, if the first attack by the attacker doesn't win the territory, the attacking troops retreat to the original territory. The player can then choose to attack the same territory again, attack a different territory, or be done with making attacks. Again, the attacker decides to attack with one, two, or three troops, and the defender decides to defend with one or two troops. The attacker must always leave at least one troop in the original territory. Green decides to make another attack with just one troop. Indigo will defend with two troops. The amount of dice used must equal your troop number in battle. That wraps up how to play Risk. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and get more game tutorials by subscribing to our channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.